Hello and welcome. It's episode number 247 of a top secret, secret show. So secret that we didn't even know we were going to do it until, I don't know, about an hour or so ago when we decided to. Mark, you're looking off into the distance quite pensively. Would that be because you're an alcoholic? <laughs> no, it's because I'm somewhat disoriented from going five, now six nights with very little sleep, but having a whole lot of fun. Well, uh, we are in Canada, we are in Calgary, Alberta, and because it's different in the U.S. than it is in Canada, I've been getting where we are messed up. But also, we've gone to various places. So we've gone to Banff, Banff is that right? Banff. Banff uh, which is spelled B-A-N-F-F, -F, but somehow is pronounced B-A-M-F. -F. F. Yeah. So, anyway. Yeah. Um, we are staying in a nice, big, big, Rental houses and the house has enough bedrooms for all of us. Who is all of us? We are about to find out. Unless you've been following me on Facebook and Twitter, you might not know, but many of the conference speakers have come into this house that we're staying in to, I guess, bond. It's a, it's a, is it a team building event? Is that what it is? It might be, or it just might be a secret cabal. Right. To destroy, flatter, or be accused of. So far, not so good on no, that. No, we're not very good at it. No, we're not. No. Um, but a lot of people say that, you know, we were at the conference, that um, you shouldn't go to a secondary location. It's the worst thing you ever could right. do. Right. So, so what's the first thing that happens? We get moved to a secondary yeah, location. Yeah, Bob no. Nodell driving a car and mm. uh, Robbie D driving a van. We all pile in and, uh, well, we didn't end up dead. We nope. ended up in a gorgeous house. I'll give you a quick overview of the house. Everything's a mess, but we've been here for several days. So uh, we've got the fireplace here, which was on earlier, and the backyard with beautiful trees. And the talent is moving. Um, <laughs> oh, look, <laughs> the Nodells. In fact, all three of them. <laughs> and um, right here. He's in the green room at the moment. <laughs> Flatworth, by the way, <laughs> channel. And then we've got a downstairs, and then there's other rooms to the side. And oh, we've made a cool light box, <laughs> because we're so professional, right here, which is, I think, a sheet and a Home Depot cardboard box, because that's how we roll. So um, we're going to bring Robbie D in a few seconds to talk about the conference, how it went. Right. But why don't you tell us what you think about the whole thing? You did a fantastic speech, which uh, DITRH has put on his channel and other people have mirrored, and I really loved it. And oh. yeah. I attended the conference. <laughs> uh, the conference was in Edmonton in Canada, and it was fantastic. Two days of flat earth uh, knowledge and awakening and hundreds of great people and media and uh, it just kept on going. I, I, I loved it. And I loved doing the opening speech, talked for a little while, and then did a Q&A session right after the break. Uh, it was a real blast. And so I, I just love Flat Earth and everything a part of it. Yeah. Uh, I hosted a panel, which is, was at the very end, on day two, and something crazy happened. And uh, if you weren't there, you might not know about it. And you yeah. haven't, if you haven't gone to the... Flat Earth International Conference channel, which you can find on YouTube, and watch day two, the second half of the day two video, you wouldn't know, but um, some alarms, because of all the uh, fires here in this part of Canada, some yeah. alarms went off inside the hotel, but they're not the normal, loud, annoying, obnoxious alarms like we have in the States. No, they're, they're, they're like super light they're polite up in Canada. <laughs> Uh, how did it sound? Um, anybody want to do an imitation? It, 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 no. It, it, <laughs> yeah. Ding. <laughs> Ding. Yeah. It it kind of sounded <laughs> like the what you might hear at a at a live theater when you're trying to be brought in from inf Stop. intermission. And, and then the woman, after all the dinging, then a woman talked. Yeah. Um, and said something like, "The alarm you've heard is it's just a yeah. It's oh. just a warning system as part of you know the the hotel policy. And it would out and letting us know, and then it would go back into the dinging, and then it would rinse and repeat, and it went on for at least forty minutes. Right, ruined the panel. Yeah. And, but it was funny and fun. Yeah. So anybody who was in attendance or sees the video will just realize that we didn't. There's nothing we could do. The show must go on. Yeah. Anyway, I want to say hi to everyone in the live chat. Please give the video a thumbs up. And hopefully me moving and holding my phone isn't going to make anybody go Blair Witch ill. I think I've, so, I've told that story before. When I saw the Blair Witch Project, after the movie was over, 
I was in a parking garage right. and my friend was driving, I was in the passenger seat and we left, you know, like when you leave a movie you are always discussing the film. Yeah. We were discussing it and the parking garage had an exit ramp which went in a spiral all the way down to the bottom. When we got to the bottom I said, I, I have to throw up. The Blair yeah. Witch Project and the spiraling road made me vomit. Just when you think the Blair Witch Project would have ended, by the way, 1999 Grace yes, movies. What? Just when you think it no, no, just when you think it would have ended, we see it every week on the uh, Flat Earth Pod. I'm sorry, uh, the, the podcast by Wes Stacy on Flat Earth News. Oh, Wesley Stace and yeah. Flat Earth News Talk Channel. When you watch it, it's something like this. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, all you need is some horror music and him screaming, and it's a sequel to Blair Witch. It's incredible. Now, we were hoping that the connection stays live for this whole thing. It might not, and we should say goodbye, goodbye if we have to leave <laughs> now. So, uh, first off, um, since this is going to be a very short secret show, and since my arm will ache by the end of the show, because I'm holding it with one hand, Robbie D, conference organizer. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Hey, everyone. How's it going? Now, height-wise, I'm going to have to balance it here. So, for people have seen you in person and they know how tall you are, mm -hmm. but people see you on YouTube at the conference and they say, he's a Nephilim, <laughs> he's a giant. I promise you, I'm not a Nephilim, but I am tall. But I can tell you this, even at this altitude, I don't see her. Uh, yeah, so you're six what? Six, six seven. Six seven. There's a couple flat earthers who are six six. You could be the tallest. You're the tallest. I think I am, yeah. All right. Yeah. Is everyone in your family that tall? I know no. your wife is very she's petite. Not tall. No, yes. no, she's not tall. But uh, my great-grandfather was tall. But I would say that we're of average height. I'm definitely above average when it comes to the height department. I think that being a tall man, if I were a man, and I'm not, by the way, in case anybody's been wondering. <laughs> uh, oops, was that a slip? No. Um, <laughs> Uh, being tall would be preferred, but for some reason, shorter guys are who always likes me. I don't know why that is. <sighs> anyway. One of so, those things, I guess. Go to, go to commercial. 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 Run the <laughs> <laughs> Rick Hummer saying, run the technical difficulty slide. <laughs> oh, gosh. I, I, I'm very flushed and hot right now, not because I'm joking around, but is it hot in here? Yeah. It's a little hot in here. Yeah. Open the door. We, we could go outside, actually. Okay, we might lose signal. And uh, if we lose signal, we will... Uh, let's, let's go out. We'll go outside. And if right. it doesn't work, we'll come back in. Let's go out. And we'll talk with Robbie, right. and then we're going to talk with Recomer, wow. and Bob and Cammy, and their son, Jaron, and Matt Long, and that's the deal. It's really pretty outside, so we're going out now. Hopefully this will hold. If not, back in. Oh my gosh, it's so much better here. But you know in a few minutes I'll be cold and complaining. I'm just going to show everybody the, the uh, situation here. Pretty, right? Everyone's saying, go to the table. Yeah, it's really nice. Oops. Yeah, yeah. Well, right, right, right. Okay, well, let's hey, Mark, I left my gold jacket over there. Can you get it from me? I'm making Mark run for my clothing. Uh, where should I sit? Here? I'll be here where the sun is, right? It's couple, sun's what if I sit right here? I the sun will be blaring on the... the blare Tell me where to sit. Right here, come here. The all right. Sun. There, the sun coming on your All right, all right. Sit right. down here. Okay, okay. here. This is I very well like organized, the, isn't it? Let me try this. Okay. We, we're setting this up on a um, one of those... What's the thing called? Tripod? Oh, what is this, what is this uh, gym you have on your... Oh. How's that? That's yeah, yeah. We're coming to the rescue. Mark got my jacket. Got a tripod. Nice. And a, there we go. Oh, we're gonna put there it on a chair. Look at this. So we've got a now chair on top of a picnic table. A lot of and now you this. can sit down. And sit wait, down. why sit is it all now. tilted? Yeah, oh, nice. Oh, and my there coat. There we go. Wow. You got a jacket. Look at this. This way we're gonna jack it. Now, where's the makeup department to come with a big powder puff? Hit my face. Jamie, rub the shoulders. <laughs> Somebody rub my shoulders. You need hair and makeup? <laughs> I'm going to try to get this set for you. Right. Just got to shine. Thank you, Cammie, for the. You Cammy, gotta for the uh... take that off. <laughs> <laughs> if I do that. It's Matt Long blowing in my face. All right. This is not helping. This is not this working. This is why this, this thing was five bucks at Walmart. What we need is something it's a, to it's put there. It's a rubber, rubbery tripod. It's Ooh. almost there. Got it? It's going to fall in the middle of the show? Or, okay, now set that leg on there. Sorry, We're gonna get everyone. it right away. Oh, if you could oh, see what was oh, happening. Oh, 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 I swear to God, that never almost. happens. Oh. <laughs> but now, now it's my forehead. It's um, 
We should do or take my two eight head. <laughs> I think we should be like, stay tuned. Five Everyone head? get ready. We're coming back for take two. <laughs> okay, I'll shoot you like. I wish we had a really professional setup do, like yes, I do at home. Just shoot it. Why not shoot it on the table and just shoot it, up? I got it. I got it. Oh, uh, okay. Rick, <laughs> Rick's got a solution. Yeah. He's got a better tripod. All right, we're about to get yeah, twisty here. Right now, look, we can twist it off. This is all right. All right. Someone grab the audio. All right, I'm in. The, Wait, I'm, I'm in the, the show. Hit the I got it. There. Okay. No, Wait, we've got the bling around it. That is really nice. I wish people could swing. Yeah, take that. Difficulty there. screen. <laughs> yeah, with the For the whole show. Camera. because You're good. They're going up, though. Okay. Brian Stavely no, says, this, Mark, you're my errand boy. Let's say hi to people. Uh, hey, Brian. Wait, bring it around. Let's talk to people while we're waiting. There yeah. Perfect. Um, share the show on your social media. It's an unplanned show. Please do, because so. this is probably the most hectic, chaotic show you'll ever see <laughs> in your entire <laughs> oh, We miss you it. Way, Look, bro. in the entire no. duration. Hold that. You, hold that. Okay. 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 Another hop. Behind the scenes. Okay. 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 Matt Long job, and Rick Hummer right, are we setting up. It. Okay, we you're MacGyvering it. We're going to MacGyver it. Here we go. We're almost ready, everyone. So behind the scenes. Teamwork, brother. Hey! Look at that. Connection goes and out. <laughs> action. Okay. And so I'm going to go like this. Right. Right. I don't know if I can get it a shot. Or right. Right. Welcome to Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes. This is a very professionally done show. And uh, Robbie D just managed to be here. Hello, everyone. Thanks, Matt. That's perfect. Oh, wow. We're even nicely framed. What is These this? guys are professionals. When they are going to actually stage the shot, they do it right, <laughs> Patricia. Bills Every time. Bills Every time. The bills in the mail, he said. So yeah, right. this might be a little bit. Well, let's talk about professionalism. This is your second conference that you put together for yep. the Flat Earth. Um, from what I saw, because I was there the whole time, mixing and mingling with the, the speakers as well as those who were watching, everyone loved it. It was fantastic. It was amazing. And just to actually see everyone coming back together again and new faces, uh, it was amazing. And to be able to put it on and make history for Canada, just like last year, you know, with uh, U.S., Raleigh, North Carolina, it was amazing. So I'm excited for, you know, what we've done here in Canada, but then also coming into November uh, in Denver. It's going to yeah. be absolutely incredible. But yeah, everyone just had an incredible time. It was amazing to see Jaron and Rob Skiba and so many great new, you know, people uh, that, you know, came up to us and talked to us here in Canada and in Denver different areas but uh, like I said it was amazing to have you and Mark Sargent and just so many incredible people Bob uh, you know Cami it was just absolutely amazing it was held in the ballroom of the Fantasyland Hotel and the hotel itself was very well run beautiful and they had different floors different rooms and some of the rooms were theme rooms Mm -hmm. And those were interesting. I think it might be a newlywed destination spot with some of those theme rooms. Yeah, it was funny because the hotel's called Fantasyland and right. some of the media was saying, oh, how appropriate they're having a flat earth conference in right. Fantasyland. But what's really funny is if you look at, they have a space theme room. And I say, yeah, of course, look at the fantasy science fiction in that. So to me, it was appropriately named and it was a, a great place. And, and I couldn't no ask one more. could get into the space theme room, but we saw pictures of it. And here's why. It's their most popular room and there's a huge waiting list to that's get true. to it. And that really tells you a lot. That's true. And that's the kind of programming where if a couple went there for their honeymoon or they took their kids there, everyone who went and stayed in the space theme room at the Fantasyland Hotel would be programmed and would always believe in space. Mm -hmm. Because it's it's just it's just too close, you know. Yeah, I tried to get the actual room because I thought we could have a lot of fun, you know, yeah. photo ops and just have a fun because it's all like NASA space themed and it's actually pretty hysterical. But I mean, it's the most popular room. They say it's booked usually five months out, so it's an incredibly hard room to get. But uh, like I said, the the facilities, the venue, everything was top notch, and I'm I'm incredibly happy for everything that was accomplished for sure. I got a crazy room. I was supposed to be in a normal room, but when I got there, they said they're going to upgrade me. I'm not sure why, but they did. And I said, okay. They gave me a choice of two rooms. I didn't know what they would look like. They told me the names. One was the Roman room, and I thought, you know, uh, I don't know, orgies. orgies. And I'm like, eh, not for me. They said, what about the Hollywood room? And I'm like, okay, I'll go with that. <laughs> so <laughs> I went to the Hollywood room. It was on oh, the top choice. floor. <laughs> and they, I'll tell you all about it. The, okay, the bed was a king bed, which a lot of the rooms had. And they had a, how many feet was it? Oh, frame. A foot and a half. A foot and a half like frame. Like a giant waterbed frame. Of, like a waterbed frame, like of leatherette material all the way around the bed. So you couldn't just sit in the bed. You had to kind of leap over this big frame, which was crazy. Uh, they had neon lights all over the room, like Hollywood. And the craziest thing of all was they had a real stripper pole glowing. No lie. And 
Why is the stripper pole associated with Hollywood? I don't know. I just think it just added, adds to the whole theme, I guess, for people. I'm yeah. not sure. It's just something that's more just, Vegas yeah. than Hollywood. Yeah, yeah more Vegas. Stay and, tuned for more behind the scenes. <laughs> it was so weird. And uh, <laughs> the room itself had neon lights, but very little regular light, so it was very dark. And so I, I know that I've seen these TV shows where they have, uh, they go into hotel rooms and they take a special light and they check the bed for uh, bodily fluids. I bet that room was, you know, pretty no, no gross. Comment. No comment. Because. <laughs> It's that that's the purpose of that room is probably sex. But. Well, I mean, like it was amazing, like I said, with all the speakers. And again, you're going to be hearing from a lot of them here. Some of them unfortunately had to leave, but we've had a great time here in Calgary and out in Banff and just having an amazing time together. So thank you so much for having me on the show, Patricia. Thank you. And uh, hello, everyone. And we'll talk to you again soon. OK, here's a question. I didn't send Rob Skiba a link and I said I would. Is there any way to send a link while the show is going using a cell phone? Mm. Well, he's still on the flight, isn't he? Oh, he's probably still flying. Oh, so, well, Rob Skiba left earlier this afternoon. So, sorry, Rob, I said I'd send you a link. And I'm used to doing it on my MacBook Pro. Well, anyway, let's get the Nodal family in. Um, and Mark, go over and here, Misa. You're still in the show. Can you fit here? There's a big leg of the picnic table here. All right, Bob and then Cammie will come over here. Cammie's wearing my jeans. Kind of weird. <laughs> and they look great on her. Let's have some modeling. Some very nice. Nice. Don't try to steal those, girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, um, and where's your son? Jared? I said he should come on. Oh, yeah, he'll come if he wants. Cammy went he to doesn't have chair. to force him. He said he would. I'll put his Can name in the description box. No, you're good, you're good. All right, so your take on the conference. I, I think the conference was awesome. Come a little um, closer, because closer. it's hard okay, to get. There we go. You get that. Hi, everybody. Bob, no doubt. Love busters. All right. So no, the conference was incredible. Uh, a lot of great people there, and uh, I mean, we had so much fun. It was, it was unbelievable. <laughs> oh yeah, there's Jaren, back there in the back, being a string bean. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we had a really good time, and and I was really happy with the Globebuster presentation. I got yeah. I got cut a little bit short on my um, gravity presentation, but. Why? Gravity? Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. the weight of the situation was a little... No, they were running a little bit short on time because, you know, you know how it is. You it's guys... hard to keep things moving with... We have a set time and then somebody might go over, somebody might go under. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, so uh, uh, John asked me if I could do my presentation about 10 minutes short and I'm like, mm, what do okay, I cut out of it? I'm going to try. And so I didn't have a lot to cut out, but uh, um, I did... I was hoping yes. that I could get some of the... Uh, clips that I didn't play, and maybe I'll do that on Globebusters. All right, Busters, you know. But uh, other than that, the conference was awesome. It was it awesome. It was yeah. so right. much fun. I don't know who it was more fun for, the speakers or those who came to watch it. I really don't know, because all I heard was positive from everybody. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. Probably for the people that watched it. <laughs> they were, they, everyone was so grateful in the hallways, and, yeah. and I shook so many hands, and that's some fantastic. And media was there too. We haven't really talked about media. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there, yeah. A few stories have come out, and it's the usual stuff. You know, they're wrong, but we went, and it's amazing that many people believe in such a thing, and science proves otherwise. But um, there was, and Robbie could speak to this. There was a uh, media group that interviewed you that actually gave you a fair shot. Yeah, actually, it was uh, it was pretty amazing. So uh, maybe come closer. I don't know. Is everyone able to hear everyone? No, he he, he they should up. be able to. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure he okay. can hear you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Yeah, out of all the coverage, I mean, there was some actually really good gems it. that came out of it. So I'm really excited to to get the uh, stuff out, and uh, we'll definitely start mirroring it because uh, the the, the uh, media outlet that covered you very well. Edmonton Journal, which is the main uh, newspaper of the city, and then there's also a couple of other magazines like uh, Newsweek or Time that I think they're running some pretty good stories as well. So. Anyways, like you said, with any media, you're going to get good, bad, neutral, and I think any press is good press, frankly. So, anyways, it was a hit. Everyone loved it. So, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. and obviously the next one's coming up in November in Denver. It's mm -hmm. your home city, mm -hmm. so that ought to be great. I think yeah. that uh, conference is going to be. They're all amazing. But it's going to be ultra amazing. Yeah. Oh, well, we've got Alex coming in from Spain. Yeah. Flat Earth um, Man. That's going to flat Earth Man. Man. That's going to be awesome. Me. And, uh, you know, just so many, uh, allegedly Dave. Dean Murphy and, is coming. And, yeah, um, Red Flag Media, his right. son. Well, I don't know his son's name, Deke. 
He's Actually, I, I don't remember. No. Mm. Yeah, well, anyway, he's coming in, and, and I really like his channel. Mm -hmm. So, What other yeah. speakers are going to be there, aside from the speakers that were at this? I, maybe you're still finalizing that. Karen B. Oh, Karen B. D. I know these things, but I just spacing Karen, out now. Karen, the Goldbusters, <laughs> Hiro Landucci's going to be there. Yep, Hiro will be there. Um, and you're yeah, thinking yeah. about whether or not to bring us back. you got to yeah, evaluate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, cool. Be there deep inside the rabbit hole. David oh, David Weiss. David Weiss. Weiss. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, that, we're gonna shell for that. Yeah, yeah that's gonna right. be great. Lots of shells. Sorry, David. Rob Skiba. Lots yeah. of shells. Lots of thrills. Yes. You know, yeah. you know, the, you know, you know how it goes. More and shill I, for your buck. Yes, exactly. <laughs> right. and if uh, you want information on getting tickets, by the way, we don't pro, we don't benefit from it. We're not making money off of it. Um, you know, us here and it, it's Robbie's thing. Um, in the description box of this and every one of my videos is the link to the uh, to the way to look at tickets. Uh, Robbie, what's the website? FE2018.com. And ch check out the YouTube channel and subscribe to it. Uh, Flat Earth, Earth International, International Conference. Conference. Not that many people have subscribed to it, but you'll find all the video for the conference on there. And also, Paul on the Plane did a recap of it video, so you can find stuff on his channel. Um, all right, anything else you want to add? No, I can't think so. It was all just right. terrific, and it's been this. And it was not funny, like, been like awesome. I know we met in person last time, but I think we. Yeah. I think we bonded more. We yeah. had more time. Cammy's well, the, wearing my clothes. I mean, how much yeah. more bonding can there be? Right. <laughs> We're having all kinds of fun out here. I Cammy's can't cooked. Wait. Uh, yes. She cooked dinner Thank tonight. So yeah, Cammy had a wonderful dinner. I'm the only vegan person here, but she made vegan spaghetti, mm -hmm. and then everyone could add their own cheese later. We were all vegans mm -hmm. today. Yeah, today. Yeah, everyone was vegan. And uh, <laughs> she made breakfast the other day, yesterday, and. Um, we've all pitched in, and it's been nice staying in this house together, really. Yeah. And, and the, the Banff trip yesterday was, oh, was spectacular. Oh, yeah. but I, you know, I wanted to see Banff for over 20 years, and we find, I finally got the chance to go there yesterday. We all went there. We rode the gondola up, and it was just so absolutely gorgeous. The, the Canadian Rockies are so rugged. Right. Yes. They're just absolutely amazing compared to, you know, the Colorado Rockies. Different right. kind of mountain that yeah, I'm used totally to. totally different kind of mountain. The tops are all jagged and crazy cutouts. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just incredible. And it, did you guys, by any chance, when we were driving up there, did you guys catch that, the one mountain that looked like it had a couple of eyeballs and it no. was no. kind of squared? I looked at that and I went, wow, no that's really weird. No <laughs> kind of a situation happening. Huh, yeah, but other than that, I mean, been a fantastic time and uh, we're going to just uh, enjoy it for the next couple more days and yeah. you know, head back to Denver. Mark and I are leaving. We have our flights to go out at the same time tomorrow afternoon. Yep. And mm -hmm. when are you guys leaving? Um, well, we've been, we have to leave here tomorrow, obviously. Because you're driving. But, yeah, but we've got two days to get back to Montana, and, mm -hmm. and then after that we fly back. So. And, uh, Robbie, we'll, when are you going back home, which really isn't too far? Uh, but tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow as well. We have so much food in the refrigerator, which is a sad yeah. thing. We overbought. We went to the grocery Better store. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yesterday, and we each bought food for ourselves, and then we kind of shared everything. We made it's, a dent in it tonight. Yeah. That's well, there's sure. still some time left to do some eating later on. Just some eating. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Some good eating to be had. Another meal. Yeah. Right, dinner. <laughs> well, thank you for coming on. You're and welcome. Thank you, you for Kimmy. having us. And let's bring the master of ceremonies, Rick okay, Hummer, in. We say hi. And then we got Matt Long right, coming up too. Good summer, yeah! Hey. Whoa, 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 yeah! Um, I think everybody knows who you are, uh, uh -huh. but in case they don't, this is some guy when we were driving here. <laughs> we saw him by the side of the road hitchhiking. We felt bad for him, so here he is. That's that's a my lie. I, I'm flat Earth. <laughs> uh, you know what a what I a show. I think everyone knows you, but yeah. Uh, well, I've I've done we've done quite a bit of stuff. I yeah, mean, yeah. there's like I've done stuff with Mark. I've done stuff with you. I've talked to you and. Uh, Skiba and I started doing tests together with the Lake Michigan, uh, proven it wasn't a mirage. Um, You've been doing lots of behind-the-scenes stuff as well. Yeah, like, yeah. Instead of like, well, that's just a lot of people ask me, thing. why, why don't you have a YouTube channel? And I'm like, well, I'd rather take the time to help others get things done that need to be done, and I like kind of spreading myself thin in a way, um, trying to be uh, as helpful as I can. How's that? Yeah. So we've had great conversations, just uh, you know on on the phone, oh, which yeah. are yeah, helpful. Yeah. It's just nice to talk to other people. Yeah. yeah, well, we've got a we've got a commonality with the radio thing. Oh, yes. You know, in our past. And, yeah. Um, we were talking you know, about Arbitron ratings earlier yeah, and yeah. Uh, editing like, I don't even stuff. know if they exist. I don't even know. And and reel-to-reel uh, <laughs> -reel tape. I mean, we're talking yeah. radio. Old radio. In the old days, so. Before the take, digital. Corporate takeover by uh, Clear Channel in America. I don't know what happens out here in Canada, but. It's probably the same. Yeah, probably the same. Name. 
now radio is totally different. I remember in radio when you used to be a DJ and do your show live, and now they have uh, voice, voice tracking. tracking. And they ha a station in New Orleans, my last radio job, hired me to do the afternoon drive, which is great. So that was great, which meant I was on in the afternoons. And they also said, but part of your job is to be on overnights. And I'm like, wait, so I'm going to do afternoons and then be on overnights? I, I, I can't stay up that long. You need to hire two people. They said, no, 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 you're going to voice track the overnights. Yeah. So they're kind of getting a free person. It's less out, one less, less salary. One less salary. And what you insurance. do is they tell you the list of songs mm -hmm. to play and when to go to commercials. And then you just sit there and read it. Blah, 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 blah. Liner cards. Push a button and then it all goes I digital. I am a... Yeah, radio line of person it's not the now. same as radio used to be when you could talk just like yeah. we are And there now. are some, but there's still some people on the air, but they've really thinned it down as well. Right, right. You don't have the same talent. You don't have the, you know, the morning shows. You don't have five good morning shows. It's maybe one or two, and then right. they've got syndicated morning shows all over in the smaller markets, medium and smaller markets. So even the bigger markets. There was a radio morning show at the conference, too. There was. Did you uh, hear about that? Yeah, it was uh, Cruise FM. Yeah. So The Locker Room was the name of the show. They showed up with a, with a globe. A right, guy dressed up as a globe, which was interesting. Right, to try yeah. to belittle it, but yeah. in the end... But they ended up, like, going, oh, wait wow. Wait a minute, this is a real thing, Flat Earth. It's oh, not wow, a joke. Eh? Oh, wow, eh? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Oh, eh? And it was funny, when you see radio people and you used to be a radio person, you kind of know exactly where they're coming yeah. from. Oh, yeah. Oh, They look for the weirdest things sometimes to go do a broadcast from. Yeah. In order to make themselves feel superior and get, you know, ha, ha, ho, ho, he, he, let's laugh at other people. But he who laughs... First, last, last. Is that how that expression laughs, goes? Who? Laughs, last, less, laughs best. He who laughs, laughs. first laughs loudest. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. If the louder the laugh, Wait, the funnier it is. Wait, he who laughs, laughs. I thought it was the louder the laugh, the funnier it is. I think we're all wrong, but that's No, okay. I'm not. <laughs> that's all right. That's How's all right. your drink going? By the way, what are you drinking? This is what? Cranberry and vodka. Cranberry actually. and vodka. And hail. Yeehaw. That's hail I collected yesterday. Uh, and hail, course. yeah, with not ice, but actual hail. Yes, yeah, so it's Canadian uh, you know, Proud sponsor of the uh, Flat Earth Canadian after party. It's right, right. Kool-Aid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. We, we since we are called, he is drinking the Kool-Aid. Kool <laughs> we have robes as well. In fact, let's... Oh. <laughs> drink responsibly, kids. Yes. Don't drink and do a live show, please. Although... Drink responsibly in Canada. <laughs> Stay home. Well, thanks for coming on. <laughs> Thank you. Am I kicked off now? Yeah, get out of okay, here. Okay, thanks. <laughs> See you. Um, you guys did great, by the way. Oh, thanks. Um, you're out of here. <laughs> cut, cut. Ding. Matt who's, Long is who's here. Who's up next, Patricia? Right, Matt Long the from the channel. Matt Bachelor. Long. Oh, Holy smokes. The right. most eligible gotta... bachelor in flat earth. He's 6'4", size 15 shoe, ladies. Pay attention starting now. <laughs> You know what they say, right? That's right. Matt, big, big feet. Big feet. Big, big feet. Big socks. My name used to be Matt Normal. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, oh, okay, so the channel is Flat Worth. So subscribe now. Tell us about the Flat Worth channel, and then I want to hear about sure. how you felt the conference went. Okay, so Flat Worth channel. It's a com I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. So F Fort, Fort Worth, Worth plus Flat Earth equals Earth. Flat Worth. I started it uh, about a year ago, um, mostly because I just I got obsessed with this flat Earth deal uh, back in 2015, like most people, and I looked at it for a long time, and finally decided it was something I wanted to speak up about. So, cool. You come at it from a uh, Christian background. I do. Yes. Um, I most of my stuff is kind of aimed towards Christians that would claim to have a biblical worldview, which would be the same worldview I have yet unsubstantially cling to a heliocentric mindset. So uh, I believe I've found the truth in the flat geocentric earth. Uh, and I, I think it's important that people get to know because according to their Bible, uh, they can get to know the non-physical attributes of their God by the physical revelation of his creation. So you said that really well. I feel like it was in my speech. So I was able to like, it just totally like came back out. Right. Your there. speech at the conference was really good. Thank you. And I think that a lot of people got a lot out of it because a lot of people hadn't seen you before sure. didn't really know who you were didn't know about your channel and it was a fresh addition with a fresh take on things i appreciate that You're welcome. yeah i think I, I concentrated there was some biblical stuff in there but really just the concept of good versus evil and the importance of truth which i think no matter what your mindset is we can all uh we can all agree that there's good and evil in this world and that truth is good so yeah exactly and i think that the conference speakers although Many have said, oh, it's overly Christian, it's Christian top-heavy, and of course, 
that's where Robbie D's perspective is. So what would you expect it to be? It's 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 like that, but it's not like that. I'll I'll elaborate on that. So yes. my I think it was very even. I think even Raleigh was was very even. I think that the the murmuring that comes up about that stuff is entirely with the audience. I know that the speakers, no matter what our background is, get along beautifully. And uh, we we really enjoy <laughs> hanging out and and all respect each other very much. Uh, yeah. The different yeah, backgrounds we're coming I from. I can say you know that uh, absolutely all all beliefs, everyone is welcome. Right? It has nothing to sure. do with just because I'm a Christian. My conferences, you know, it will be all face, all beliefs. Sure. Uh, it's just over time. That's important for people to know because again, I'm not trying to slant it. You know, Christian. Yeah. Well, well, people have wondered, Robbie, like, how do I get to be a speaker, and yeah. how come these people are picked and. What Super easy. Say? I just got to get to know you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought you. this was my segment. <laughs> I, just, I, got to know, right, I got okay. to know this guy right here. Awesome. <laughs> the same thing with all the people that basically are the speakers. Again, these are good-hearted people. So if you're doing some solid work in, in Flat Earth, reach out to me. Let's get to know each other because, honestly, I don't care what belief you are. If you're doing some great work and you're awesome with the community, then mix it up someday doing a workshop or on the stage. So uh, I'm, I'm yeah. all like that. Make sure that you dispel any rumors saying that I, I'm not for you know anyone that's not Christian or I want to do... A primarily Christian conference. It is a Christian. It's a conference for all. So, just wanted to say that. Later. Yeah. yeah. Flat Earth doesn't care about race. It doesn't care about gender. It doesn't care about religious preference. Flat Earth welcomes all. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Okay. So thank you for coming. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thanks yes. for having me. And that is Matt Long. Win a date with Matt Long. Details coming soon. <laughs> Actually, that would be a good promotion if this were actually a radio station. No, I'm absolutely not kidding. We should absolutely do that. How do people win it? We'll, we'll work details coming soon. Right. Well, I don't know what the age range for women would be. All right. <laughs> Anyone that wants a date with Matt no, no, Long, no, 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 email no. msargent23 <laughs> at comgas.net. <laughs> That's M-S-A-R-G-E-N-G. I, I must be a woman, okay? <laughs> Single. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. No Just send the emails. Oh, Flat Earth oh, the, the Flat Earth Crew. Wait, wait, wait. Why don't you come talk about okay, the Flat Earth Crew? Yeah, you know more about it. Oh, okay, okay. Let me do it. Right, right. Let me do it. Okay. Just bring Robbie D back. And one big, one <laughs> big is announcement. Is that because cruising for chicks is what that kind of brought that about? Mm. No, I was just thinking a lot of people really aren't aware of that. They might not have saw the announcement, but <laughs> we did a big, big special surprise at the end of the conference in Canada. The first Flat Earth Cruise coming 2019, September 7th to 14th. You can see a little bit of information on the website, but I'll be releasing a lot more soon. So stay tuned for more details. I just wanted to mention that because that's going to be a blast. Every, yeah. Rob Skiba, all he talked about when we were here this weekend is he just, dude, dude, I'm so excited for the cruise. He loves cruising, and I do too. But I've never been on a cruise. You're going to enjoy it, and I think a lot of you are too. A whole week on the sea, think about it. Water's flat. We're going to have a lot of fun. Um, and lots of flat smacking because there's going to be a lot of people on the cruise. And there's, nowhere, and there's nowhere for them to go. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. And the lifeboats. <laughs> Globies overboard. Who's next, Patricia? Um, well, we have a special guest who has is kind of coming in without being really invited, but he's here, and there's absolutely nothing I can do about it, so might as well just let him talk before he kicks me off the chair. Oh, it sweet is mother of God. Roland Reddy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, first and foremost, uh, by the way, we are recording right now. Oh, you've got a selfie stick recording. Yes, okay, you're great. on, Mark. Hey, how's it going, <laughs> Roland? Nice it's going to great. Nice I, uh, to see you. Welcome on. to uh, Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes. Thank you very much. I feel like I'm a little bit of sour cream and chives. Uh, oh, you're a potato. Yes, I am. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Uh, I will say this. Uh, I am very much uh, impressed with the program y'all put on. This one? Yeah. Hold on. Hold, 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 hold on. You got sound? It's dogs. No, that's coyotes and they got something. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't want to hear about what they have got. <laughs> no, that's they're they're like celebrating. Right. They're like, yeah, we got them. Let's eat it. You know, like, like a small and child. Calling all the the kids in, and they they call the kids in, and then right before the kids go to grab something, the alpha comes in and like, no, you're not gonna do that. And then they all whine off, and then you know only the strong survive at the end. Of, you know, there the is a the the sound day. of I guess dogs or coyotes, and we are kind of in the middle of they the woods. They do have canines. Yes, they do. All right, on a, where were we? What were we talking uh, about? We were talking about oh. flat earth and other hot potatoes, yeah, and uh, we are back. Yeah, we brought it to k <laughs> <laughs> How did you do that? Uh, which one? I don't know, just sort of what? Transition. Transition, yes, it was a very uh, weird one. It's the white coat, it makes me smarter. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Did you see my lab jacket? Yes. Very nice. The code of credibility. I'm going to jump in on all this science stuff. I'm going all the way in. Uh, dry cleaning bill and all. Let's do it. Well, Amazon, twelve forty nine. dollars Hey, that's a great deal. Yep. Yep. Shop got around. Yep. Yeah, get yourself it a right lab here coat. House. If you are going to the Denver conference, get a lab coat on Amazon. They're that's very cool. inexpensive. I got one. You've got one. Oh, a yeah. bunch of people Robbie have Robbie Davidson them. said if you come in with a lab coat on, he'll sign it. <laughs> and you get 10% off. No, not the 10% off. No, no, I heard Rob Skiba say that he would sign all lab coats at the Denver conference. There you go. I heard that. But then you could never wash it. Well, You'd have to treasure it. Yeah, you could. Just don't use a washable marker. Just use a Sharpie. Oh, okay. Yeah. You'd be all right. You're have smart. have, you him, sign it, have him sign his name twice so it's in bold. Oh, okay. okay. You're good. Well, where are you with the whole flat earth thing? I mean... Well, here's the thing. I've seen the Rolling Ready channel, and there's a promotion. Well, and the whole thing is we're we're all we're doing a live thing while we're actually in the process of filming, but uh, I can tell you this: uh, things are no longer what they seem to be for me. Interesting. So in you other are... words, water. Water is a uh, that's that, that, it's tripping me out. Period. Uh, water being a natural level, if that's the case. Uh, whew. I mean, it can't they're, they're, conform to but a here's, ball shape. well, I don't know because here's the thing: there's a there's a, a a pivotal point in time, like when you plug the toilet and you flush the toilet and it's coming up and you're like, oh no, don't stop, 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 and it doesn't stop and you're like, woo, and it's like it barely stops and you you you're like, that was so close, I got to check this out, and you bend down, and you look, and you can actually see a little bit of bow on top of that. Well, I mean, barely, not like a coffee cup, but just enough where you're like, whew, and then you're, and then all of a sudden. The thing starts running again, and it starts trickling down. And at that point in time, you realize it's surface tension. Ah, oh, I'd rather use a glass of water because it doesn't smell disgusting. That's just well, I, I'm just I'm being real. Yeah. And nobody, uh, nobody likes that when that happens, but it's a, it might as well take advantage of it. It's like an experiment. So yeah. observe. Observe when your toilet yeah. almost overflows. Exactly. That water is flat. Yeah. Right. And get a lot of towels. Right. Yeah. And a plunger. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's that's number one. That's like a lightsaber there. You can take on all the dark sides on that one. It's true. Very true. A house without a plunger is not a home. No, not well. <laughs> that's probably true. Think about it. I mean, it, 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 it ends up becoming unsanitary really quick. Did you point. just coin something there? Is that brand new? GM trademark. <laughs> wow. Grab the subsidiary rates on that. That's what I'm saying. Cool. Exactly. What so, would you do with that? I don't know. I guess you could sell it. Well, that's liquid a plumber. You could put <laughs> that's it on a plungers and sell yeah. them. Yeah. They should take. They should make uh, liquid plumber look like a plunger. It's like a bottle, and you just squeeze it and pop it in there and be done. Yeah. They idea. have that. Well, see, somebody right there. Right. Any right. idea I come up with and I think is what a great idea I find has already bullet, been created. Like, been for like twenty years. Exactly. Been yeah. there. Exactly. Yeah. Like the air compressor harmonica. Have you ever seen that? For no. People that can't. They don't know how to play harmonica, but they're good with their hands. You put it on an air compressor. Really? Yeah. You just you, you, you know the air hose. You gotta get up to 90 psi. And once you get to that, and you, you turn the hose on, and, and uh, you know it's not the you know it's it's, it's it sounds better because it's consistent. It probably. And sounds you gotta pull it away and push it back in, pull it away. And push, but the sound of the compressor running kind of drowns out some. A little bit. You got yeah. you gotta have a long hose and get out of there. Wouldn't the harmonica sound like a jet airplane if you punch that much air into it? Well, if it's, if it's at 90 PSI, that's what I'm saying. You know, get it pumped up, shut it off, walk out, and just use a hose. But it's, you know, you, you gotta you gotta be able to listen for the harmonica itself because the sound of the hose coming out mm -hmm. is very loud. So it's like, it's like a redneck band is what you're talking about. One man. The one man band. One man. Got it. One man, a hose, and a harmonica. Got it. Beautiful. Mm. Sounds like a, listen, name of a listen, new movie. Listen, they got another one. What does that harmonica sound like again, Rowan? <laughs> like that. <laughs> so uh, go check out the Rolling Ready channel. Could be channel. kazoo too, though. That could have been a kazoo. What? I don't know. Uh, Rolling Ready channel. Go check it out. Subscribe. Uh, You've got something in the works. I'm on probation. Oh, uh, on the that. channel oh, isn't okay. even working. Yeah, yeah. But where I know the cameras lap. Where, huh? where will we see what you happened? next, Roland? Probably. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. I was going to say like Unsolved Mysteries or uh, somewhere like on the Outdoor Network or something like that. Um, things have gone bad in the woods. Um, <laughs> that May that be happening tonight? Probably. Because a lot of people think I like know a lot of stuff about being out in the country and stuff, and I don't at all. I grew up in town, kind of sort of. It's a small town, so we call it town, but it's really kind of more like country. Like Duke the Hazard. Ah, yeah. Without the rebel flag on the car and all that, but we did spray 
one one time. It looked just like it, mm. pretty close. We used duct tape, and which left gum on the side of the make me fall on the store. Sorry. I think lighter fluid takes that off. So I've heard. So does the torch. <laughs> so, so will we be seeing you at the Denver Denver conference oh, yeah. you in November? Come? Uh, as what hotel is it at? Right. The, the Crown Plaza. It, the airport Crown Plaza. Airport Crown the, Plaza. Oh, the airport one? Yeah, I can go to that one. Okay. Are there certain ones you're banned from? If it's the same, because a lot of hotels are owned by the same parent company. Right, right. And if there's certain ones, and they might be more lenient since it's an airport. Especially over there where that big blue horse thing is. Mm. You know, they like to, you know, who knows. What about some people that say that the Denver airport is, you know, scary on and haunted and, you know, whatever, Masonic or... Well, I don't know about. You looked into that. I have looked into some of the the haunting stuff. I know that when the when they were building the statue for that big horse, um, I don't even know about it. The fell horse over in on the guy that built it and killed him. Look at that up. Tell me that ain't creepy deep. Is that true? Yeah. Yes, you make it's Bob, true. Bob, would know. Bob, is that right? It is absolutely See? true. Yes. Bam. Yep. Learn something every day watching this program. Yeah. Now, well, think about that. You're building a big statue. Uh. Did you not build a small one first to see how if it was going to teeter over? I mean, how did it fall on? Did it did, it, did it actually move and go eek, and then go right back in place like real fast? Uh, no, the, the <laughs> details weren't there, but when it did fall, it crushed him and it killed him. Wow. Yep. Did they leave it the way it was, or and just leave him in there, kind of like the? Well, yeah, he's still stuck to the witch side on of the it. wizard of Oz. Yeah, they haven't scraped him all the way off yet. That's too uh, bad. Yeah. I'm not it's, trying to downplay that. Now, I interviewed Bob that's quite terrible. some time ago that's on why, this channel. What, by the way, that's why the Denver airport's haunted. It's and we now. talked about the Denver airport. Maybe. Uh, if you want to learn more about that, but, you know, I'm sure you could look it up. But, Bob, Denver airport, in, in, in two or three words, what it, what secrets are there? I mean, what two, do you or think? Um, or two or three words. Two or three sentences. Is <laughs> sentences. It is, is bad. Yeah. Stay, Stay away. away. <laughs> it is not a place really. that you would want to spend your vacation. Okay, don't it's spend your vacation there. Where at the Denver Airport? Well, yeah, not not especially not underneath it. Yeah. Right. Is the Denver Airport a deep underground military base? Probably. Well, I can tell have... you, but then I'd have to kill you. Yeah. Right, and we are yeah. near the woods, so... And don't say nothing, because he's sitting closest to me, and if he starts, right. you know, just don't do that. <laughs> well, thank you for are coming you... and talking. Cool. Anything else you want to add? Anything you want to tell anyone? No, just uh, be ready. Uh, there's a lot of things going on, and question everything, because if you don't, who will? And mm. maybe you'll come back on it at another time, and we'll see how you're learning curve learning curve interesting use of words goes mm. as the flat earth starts hopefully sinking in or you do more research into it, it, it well my next uh, thing i want to play with is lasers but um let's see when did we do that thing with the green light probably 10 years ago i could probably start playing with lasers again i check into that but that's that's the next test i'm going to do is start doing some laser tests because I figure if you can start doing laser tests and use the culmination to actually see how far you can get a laser to go straight across the water, depending on whether or not you got a lot of humidity or water temperature, air temperature, and all the factors that go into that. Uh, at that point in time, it's like watching things come up and come down. It's also a person coming back. So we're going to actually like shoot a, a laser cross, have the beam hit the mirror on the other side, and try and come back and blind us on this side. So we're going to call it the ricochet test. And once we get that done, at, at that point, it's game over chest match. <clears throat> yeah, but you is, might be blind, so that's not, you know, really uh, good. We're, we're going to wear welder's masks, so we should be good. Um, but the, the the real truth of the matter is, is that if you can get that done, if you can get the ricochet to happen, uh, the government's probably going to knock on the door trying to figure out how you got a laser to do that. Am I right, Bob? That's right. Yeah. That's absolutely right. Yep. <laughs> exactly. All right. I'll see you all later. Have a good All one. right. Thank you. Good to see you. Hey. Good to see you. High five. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure, brother. Yeah. All right, I love you, man. Hey, hey thanks, thanks for. Hey, by the way, when this whole thing started, right? Right. I was having a hard enough time with Blues Clues, and then Flat Earth Clues come along, and uh, I'm trying to catch up. But I appreciate what you did, and I appreciate what you're doing. Thank you, man. Keep it flat. Thank you, man. It's appreciated. That's right. But I guess it's flat. Well, I got. We'll see how it goes with Roland. Interesting to have him At on this the show. Point, yes. I've been on there long enough. My drink is. <laughs> <laughs> well, that concludes this special edition of The Secret Show. When are we uh, going to do another one? We fly back tomorrow. Are we going to do one on Wednesday? I don't know Maybe if we're going to do one on Wednesday. No, we're we're a, pretty we're gonna, tired. Yeah. Uh, but we did this one, and we packed a lot of guests in a short amount of time. Yeah, it's probably more guests than I've ever had right. at one show. Yeah, I think absolutely. You this set a record. One.
Right. And hopefully the connection's been good, and hopefully you've enjoyed it. Please give the video that a thumbs up. That got chicken, look. <laughs> <laughs> It's an open set, if you guys haven't figured that out by now. <gasps> this is not a closed oh, set. Oh, anyway, thank right. you very much for being here. I truly appreciate it to all who are in the live chat. Right. And please uh, well, make a comment bad. if you uh, oh, are watching this later and it's not live. <laughs> and uh, we should have a, a secret phrase you can put into the comment section. What oh, secret, secret phrase is going to be craft services table. Craft services table. Yeah. It's a behind the scenes sort of thing. Exactly. Matt Long would know. So. Has something to do with winning a dream date with Matt Long, possibly in Bora Bora or the Bahamas. That you're paying for? I don't I, I think it confirm. should be called Coyote Got a Chicken. <laughs> Craft services table. Craft services table. All That's right. a secret phrase. I don't know how to turn this thing off, but until we meet again, <laughs> keep it. Just pull, just pull a wire, something, anything. Keep it. Oh, hey, where is it? Where do we turn it off? Where do we turn it off? No, no, don't tap it there. Hey, here, tap it right there. George Clooney. Yeah, you got it.